Here's a true fact. Jon Snow, terrible military strategist. Really, no clue what he's doing. This is CNN Breaking News. I've got some breaking news, people. He did it. <laughs> Donald Trump broke the 10,000 lies barrier in late April, less than 900 days after he took office. That's according to the Washington Post fact checker blog, which has been keeping track of all of the president's distortions, exaggerations, and outright falsehoods. If you have a windmill anywhere near your house, congratulations. Your house just went down 75% in value. My father is German, right? Was German. And uh, born in a, a very wonderful place in Germany. When during the campaign, I would say Mexico is going to pay for it. Obviously, I never said this and I never meant they're going to write out a check. You can go to DonaldJTrump.com as of right now. It reads, quote, it's an easy decision for Mexico. Make a one-time payment of five to ten billion dollars. A quick bit of math, hashtag math, produces this. The president of these United States is averaging, averaging 12 falsehoods a day every day of his presidency. That's absolutely stunning stuff, but it's not even close to the most important story here. After all, it's not stunning to anyone who has resided on planet Earth for the past few years, or past few decades, that Donald Trump has a very distant relationship with the truth. He built a career in business and in entertainment on his braggadocia. No one really took what Trump said literally because everything he said was something along these lines. I am the richest, most successful, best looking, smartest. I guarantee I have a vocabulary better than all of them. Certainly most of them. I know I have an IQ better than all of them. Putin says Trump is brilliant. I love that when he says I'm brilliant. I... But Putin said Trump is brilliant. He's the real leader, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't know if he means it. If he doesn't mean it, I don't care. I like it, okay? I'm not a big email person. You know why? I'm intelligent. I know about email. Yada, yada, yada. People rolled their eyes and thought, that's just Trump being Trump. But nothing changed when the billionaire businessman decided to run for president in 2015. He showed total disregard for facts and the idea of truth. In fact, he took pride in the scoldings he took from fact checkers for his many false claims. Those people were all part of the establishment and the establishment was running scared from the Trump candidacy. That's what was happening. Voters in 2016 then knew exactly what they were getting with Trump. Exit polling showed that just 33% of voters thought Trump was honest and trustworthy, while a whopping 64% said he wasn't. But here's the truly amazing thing. One in five voters who said Trump wasn't honest and trustworthy voted for him anyway. So they didn't trust him. They knew that he lied. But they prioritized other things, like his ability to be a change agent in a stagnant and moribund Washington. More. It's that simple. So it's not new news that Donald Trump doesn't tell the truth. This is a feature of Trump, not a glitch. But here is what is new. And this is the really important thing, so pay attention. Donald Trump's lying is rapidly accelerating the longer he is in the White House. Consider this line from the Washington Post fact checker, quote, all told, the president racked up 171 false or misleading claims in just three days, April 25th, to the 27th. That's more than he made in any single month in the first five months of his presidency, end quote. Think on that for a minute. In a three-day period, the president said or tweeted 171 untruths. That's an average of 57 untruths a day. Honestly, that's hard to do even if you're trying to do it. Over the last seven months, again, according to fact checker calculations, Trump is not telling the truth at a rate three times higher than he did in his first 600 days in office. And even back then, he was averaging eight false or misleading statements a day. As he dialed down the line. No, he's very consistent. Uh, he's probably consistent over the last 40 years in terms of the way he frames a narrative and a story. He does it because he thinks it's fun. And he also does it because he likes the fact that you guys are talking about it. This, folks, is a snowball rolling downhill with a village, aka America, at the bottom of the mountain. With every passing day, the snowball gets bigger and bigger and picks up speed. And yet, many people in its path don't seem to be terribly concerned about it. Now, that lack of concern is based on what I was talking about earlier. People knew Trump was a prevaricator and exaggerator long before they elected him president. 
he's doing what he's always done and what we all sort of expected out of him. Which, well, sure, that is true, but it also badly misses the point. Hashtag the point, always on brand. And the point is this. Lying as a private citizen about how much money you make or who you're dating or some business deal is one thing. The impact of such a lie is relatively minimal. Repeatedly lying when you are the president of the United States is something else altogether, something else. It jeopardizes the ability of allies and adversaries to trust what you're saying, which could have severe consequences. My administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. America's so true. Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. And perhaps more importantly, it degrades the idea of capital T truth. And if we can't agree on a set of objective facts, well, we're nowhere, literally. What's clear from the acceleration of Trumpian distortion and lies is that the longer Trump remains in office, the more he retreats into a world of his own creation, a world in which he is both the hero of the story and the victim of an unnamed conspiracy being plotted by his very sick opponents. That walling off from facts is concerning enough, but the president's increasing record of fabrication and fibs are made all the worse by the fact that lots and lots and lots of people believe what he is saying. They hate the media, they love Trump. Therefore, what Trump says about, well, everything must be right. And the media must be lying because they hate Trump and want to bring him down. No matter whether Trump wins a second term in 2020 or not, his active effort to erode trust in facts and the very idea of truth will be his lasting legacy. And unfortunately, it's likely that the damage Trump is doing to truth won't be easily fixed no matter who follows him into the White House. And that is the point. We make New Point episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Check them all out.